The one thing that few people mention about having heavy bags, heavy bag I would define as you have a lot of mainly sealed magic, but it could be like reserve list. It could be a lot of just magic cards bulk and they're actually literally heavy. And if you were to move it from one place to another place, it would take you a long time and it would almost be like an exercise for you to do so. So I have a lot of heavy bags. In fact, uh, my girlfriend is gonna move in with me uh, in September, early September. And she wants to have her own uh, work rooms because she works remotely and she wants another room to put her bedroom furniture from her old apartment. So we had to clear out two rooms that is stacked high from board games and magic cards and Pokemon cards. And um, we did that and it was a very, it's the definition of heavy bags. It took a, two people three hours to organize this room and kind of put everything out in storage, put everything in yellow boxes and containers or the, and put it up in storage. That is the definition of heavy bags. Now I'm gonna tell you about the mental toll of a heavy bag. Uh, it's very easy to buy, very difficult to sell. You guys know that any collector will tell you that whatever, it's super easy to buy. There's always sellers at any given time if you're willing to pay for an eBay, TCG player, Patreon, people's Patreon, you can always buy a box of magic cards, Amazon, no problem. Now when you sell, there are fees, there's shipping, there's customer service, there's scammers. It is very difficult to sell. So what happens is often people like myself accumulate a lot of heavy bags. And I look at the van life. I don't think I can ever get the van life. Um, my girlfriend and I were joking that if we moved to a bigger home, it would take forever to put all my anime figures in their proper boxes with the accessories and so on. Probably like it would take maybe a week or two just to do anime figures. And the magic boxes, they're in every closet, you know, stacked to the brim. I mean, it's really kind of like a mini episode of Alpha Investment, right? Hoarders, right? And in, in truth, this, these heavy bags have a emotional toll on you because you realize every time you look at them, you bought them and you lost money. It's a loss. It's an out to the face. Um, so it's not a pleasant, it's not something that I look at and I think, wow, that was a great experience we had. No, it really wasn't a great experience. It was not fun to have that many heavy black bags where you can't move. And like Alpha Investment says, when you're underwater on these heavy bags, they feel so much heavier, right? Because then you can't even, you have to sell them at a loss. So the purpose of buying them was to make money and CDs are at 5%, stocks and bonds to the moon, then it really is very almost offensive, I wanna say, that you have to sell them for nothing. Uh, and yeah, it sucks, man. It, I, I can't put it another way. It really, truly, truly sucks to have to sell something that you bought as an investment. And I think this is human mentality, right? You fear loss more than you want gain. Uh, and many psychology experiments show that, that people fear loss far more than they understand gain, gains or risk. So their, uh, their risk management is always going to decide on losing less. So uh, yeah, these heavy bags are very, very heavy and they're getting heavier every day. And I, I honestly think that they kind of limit you into your ability to travel, vacation, fine. You know, I, I was never gonna find a significant other just buying magic and Pokemon cards. That was never gonna happen. Um, I needed to go out there, date, invest money on dating, invest money on going to bars and nice restaurants and all these things, right? Um, if the goal is to like, you know, make a life change and really focus on having a relationship and hopefully having kids at the end of the day, then you gotta get rid of these heavy bags. These heavy bags weigh you down. You don't travel as much. You just continue to buy these cards. You don't have experiences or entertainment as much. That's bad. These are all very bad things to think about. And to be quite honest with you, these are things that I heavily advise against, you know, I made a video and you might think it's very funny for me to say this, but I, I say this as one of you. I'm not Rudy Chan. Rudy Chan's married, has a kid and a multi, he's, he's, has everything already. I'm speaking to the Timmies and he will make fun of us, the Timmies and so on, but we fund his lifestyle. Without the Timmies, Rudy is nothing. And we are the Timmies. So all the Timmies should unite and say no more. Instead of spending money on Commander Masters from Rudy Chan, 
who needs that? If you got to proxy the card, go ahead, proxy it, right? I mean, in my opinion, it's your choice. You can do it wherever you, the legality of it is very interesting. Maybe I'll make a, a, a my personal opinion. Right now, we don't know because there's been no cases about. Matic has almost zero cases and it's very strange because the reserve list should be a lawsuit and somebody should test it out, but no one ever has. For all the people who complain about the reserve list in Magic 3, no, not one person sued. It's very easy to sue in America. It costs like $300 to file a lawsuit and you can at least, you can file a lawsuit yourself. You don't even need a lawyer. But no one is test casing any of these things. Maybe I should test case it. Um, but yeah, I, I need more time. If I was retired or something and more time, I definitely would because it, it probably would be an interesting case law regardless of which way it turns out. My point is you guys live your best life don't spend money on magic cards beyond what is reasonable. Do not invest in magic cards. No one needs to invest in magic cards. If you want to invest, invest in your 401k, invest in stocks and bonds. And, and if you have any extra money left that you are thinking about putting in magic cards, like as an investment, I'm not saying don't open magic cards, don't have fun with magic. I'm do all that stuff, but investing in magic, MTG finance is stupid. It's stupid and I, I can tell you that it feels bad. The heavy bags are not going away anytime soon. Every, so many people are closets full of RTR, which is selling for 90 to $100. I mean, it never went up. The box is what, 10, 15 years old? And it didn't, you'd have to sell it at a loss if you bought it $100. Like none of these boxes have gone done well. Um, Collector's editions included because they continue to reprint every single card with the same artwork. There's no doubt in my mind that they will reprint every card so it's less than like $20, which is Richard Garfield's uh, initial um, belief. So I don't think reprints are bad, but reprints are really bad if you view magic as an investment. Therefore, I'm telling you, do not view it as an investment and view it as a fun hobby to do, and then you won't ever feel bad. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think. Bye guys.